Now we want to bring in a couple of White House veterans and CBS News analysts. Dee Dee Myers, former press secretary to President Bill Clinton, is in Washington. Dan Bartlett, former counselor to President George W. Bush, joins us from Austin, Texas. Dee Dee and Dan, good morning. Morning, Harry. Good morning. Dan, I want to start with you. Why don't we use a phrase that your boss used? He said, I've got this political capital and I'm going to spend it. First question for you, Dan, quickly. Did this president misspend his political capital in his first year? Absolutely. What he uh, found out in his first year in office is that governing is a lot harder than campaigning, and he tried to press too much too fast. The type of change that the public wanted is not what they got in the first year. It felt a lot like politics as usual, a lot of Democratic uh, pent-up demands to do conventional pork barrel spending mm -hmm. and overreaching of the government. What you're seeing now is a scaling back of that. We'll have to see if it works, though, Harry. All right, very quickly then, Didi, did this president misinvest his, his capital? And if he has this chance to change, where should he, he spend it in this next year? Well, I think they underestimated how important the economy was to voters, and they underestimated how long and hard they'd have to fight to change the health care system, which is obviously hugely important uh, to voters and to the country's long-term economic interests. What he needs to do now, and what they're starting to do, <clears throat> is to refocus on the economy, to talk about jobs, to talk about ways to make the economy work for middle-class Americans in particular who feel like they've been left uh, to, 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 to float along on their own while uh, you know Wall Street gets a huge bailout. And so we're going to see, I think, not a rebooting Obama 2.0, but subtle and consistent changes to make the economy work for middle class voters starting with uh, last week, and we'll hear more of it in the State of the Union. Dee Dee, here's the question because the Massachusetts showed, if, if nothing else, the middle is in charge. Does the White House know that's the truth? Well, that's what, as Dan pointed out, that's what elected uh, President Obama. He w was, uh, you know, he got two, uh, you know, a huge margin among independent voters, and then obviously carried Democrats and even some Republicans. He he won by governing, by talking about the middle, and by uh, talking about initiatives that would help ordinary Americans, and by talking about ways to fix Washington. It turns out, as most presidents find out. Fixing Washington is a heck of a lot harder uh, than it appears from the campaign trail. Right. Dan, are Republicans interested in working with this president in this second year? Are they happy to let him lose some more and hope to uh, uh, reap the benefit come November? Well, it depends. And if you're seeing now some of the coverage today that they're helping on making sure that Chairman Bernanke gets reconfirmed. Mm -hmm. um, but one concern I would have is that the administration, and you heard in the pack today by Bill Plant, they're still defending this controversial health care bill. Their big answer to the big defeat in Massachusetts was that we need more politics. We're bringing back our campaign manager, David Fluff, to run the campaigns. It wasn't a, a substantive problem we had. It was a political problem. And I think that's going to be an error in judgment. It's not that the public wants more politics. They want less politics and more working together. And that's going to require this administration to scale back its more progressive right. and liberal ambitions and starting to work together. Very quickly, Dan, will this president's approval ratings be 47 percent or below a year from now? I believe it definitely will stay below 50% mm -hmm. through the November elections. Depends on how he responds yeah. to those November elections. If he's standing before All the right. state, uh, the State of the Union, then whether he gets back over. It's going to be very, very quickly. Uh, no, I think what we'll see is uh, we, we've seen President Obama as a candidate and early in this presidency retool and readjust. He, the, the White House hears the message. They get that they uh, haven't communicated effectively, that they need to retool a bit, and we're okay. going to, without, again, a huge uh, reintroduction, the subtle changes that the president will need to do, including, most importantly, focusing on the economy and making it work for middle-class voters. Dee Dee, Dan, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. And Thanks, your insight. Harry. All right, guys. <laughs>